welcome back friends now we are dealing problems of genetics now we have talked about many small different types of problems but now this problem is going to be interesting because we'll be talking about polygenic problem so polygene means many genes now most of the traits we have discussed are may, uh, problems we have discussed are with one gene but in this case we'll be seeing the problems con controlling controlled by many genes excuse me and the example is human body color that means skin color not actually body color skin color now here is an example of that now suppose the human skin color is controlled by four different genes okay for our simplicity sex we take four different genes actually the human body, uh, skin color is controlled by many more different genes now remember I have discussed about polygenic inheritance in my discussion video of genetics and I have told you that the most important uniqueness of, of polygenic inheritance is that you can e e easily visualize this via looking at the graph which is much more look like a bell shaped curve. Now the ratio you are going to get after the cross in F1 generation selfing, uh, F1 generation cross, you are going to see. Uh, when if you're going to see this kind of ratio like 1 2 4 2 1 like this so it is getting a bell shaped curve you will be sure that your uh, math or problem is you have done the problem correctly so that is why it is giving us an advantage uh, to know whether the problem is done correctly or not so it's uh, it's a uh, mm, uh, not you can say risk free to solve this kind of problems but still you need to understand the concept and the most important concept you need to need to understand is that the designation of, of a and b uh, in case of other uh, prospects, in case of other problems, when you deal with uh, different types of problems, we have suggested that A is for a separate trait, B is for a separate trait, right? But in this case, you need to think that whatever it is A, B, or X, Y, or A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, whatever is given, all of the genes are for the same trait, for the single one trait. Now, this is the most important concept you should understand. Because if you think about this, this of two different traits, then you may probably end up with a horrible mistake in the problems. But in this case, you need to think, you do, just forget about uh, the, those are different traits. Those all, whatever it is written, whether it's written X, Y, Say X, X, Y, Y, Z, Z, K, K, L, L. All of the genes, this A, X, Y, Z, K, L, all of the genes are coding for the human skin color. Because human skin color is really a dangerous thing. Uh, it is controlled by many different genes, not a single gene. That's why it's called the polygenic inheritance pattern. So now let us focus on to the problem. Now in the F1 generation, we are having this in the population. In the population, this particular type of ratio is more common. Okay, so we are having a cross between this kind of people. So we are having a cross between this. And after the cross, what we are getting? We are getting the results. And you need to find again the F2 phenotypic ratio. That's a simple problem. Now let's solve the problem. So again, uh, if we cross it, cap say, cap say, cap say, small v, small v, small v. What we'll be getting? We'll be getting here, cap say, cap say, uh, cap say, cap say, uh, small v and small v, small v. So in this case, uh, the small b's are giving us this kind of phenotype. So it's actually pretty different kind of, uh, so we need to have a different kind of solving approach to this problem. Because remember one thing, if we are having four dominant genes, so this is only one, only one, uh, this is, there are four different genes, but for one trait. So you are having four dominant, we will have a dark, dark color, skin color, dark black skin color. If you are having three of them dominant, so let us focus on it. Four dominant dark or black, three dominant mulatto color, two dominant brown color. Two means any two can be dominant. So I have given you only two A's, but it, it will be any two type of dominant. And also uh, one dominant is white and none of the dominant give us the albinism or albino color. So these are the actual fact. So this is not uh, only going to be uh, two A's and three B's, uh, one B's to give mulatto like that. It could be one A, two B. So, 3 dominant means mulatto, 2 dominant means brown, 1 dominant white or blonde and no, uh, non, none of the dominant is getting albino. So, this is the simple sequential arrangement for that. Now, if you are having the cross like that, what we can get, we can get, uh, for example, say, say here, the examples uh, will be placed like that. So, the ratios will be 
caps a caps a caps a small a and small a small a similarly caps b small b and small b small b now we need to look for the ratios okay so what is going to be the ratio we know here the ratios are 1 is to 2 is to 1 1 is to 2 is to 1 if this is the cross right so again let's do it a a b b and the ratio is is 1 now make this one constant so a a b b three of them are okay we'll be moving it later so the ratio is again 2 now here a a b b this one 1 now the next line a a b b make this one constant now it's 2 a a b b this one this is again 4 now now this cross a a b b cross 2 now the third line it is this one so make this one constant now a a b b so again this one 1 now this one a a small b small b so this one 2 and small a small a small b small b this is going to be 1 ok so these are the ratios that we can get now let us find out the phenotypic ratios depending upon this fact that I am given to you that I have given you. so wherever we are getting it remember the most important concept three uh, four uh, genes four dominants dark three dominants mulatto two dominants brown whatever irrespective of who is dominant who is recessive we don't bother because all the genes are coding for the skin color okay there are no variation between the traits only one trait many genes okay so here let's say four caps that means dark color and we are having only one which is having four black so the ratios i will be writing here like that so dark color so it is 1. Now, 3 dominant means mulatto. So here we are having 3 dominant. Here we are having 3 dominant. So 2 plus 2, 4. Where we are having 3 dominant? Nowhere else. So we are having 4. So 3 dominant means mulatto. We are having mulatto, 4 mulattos. Now let's consider to the third kind. 2 dominant. This is 2 dominant, 1. Again, this is 2 dominant, 4. 4 or 1, 5. This is again 2 dominant, another 1. Uh, 5 and 1, 6. Okay. So, we are having 6 now. So, 2 dominant means brown. And we are having 6 browns here. Now, two, 1 dominant is white. So, 1 dominant here, it is white. 2 whites. 1 dominant here white, 2 white, 4 white, so white is again going to be 4 and no, none of the dominant is albino, so this one is going to be the albino, so albino is again 1. So what are going to be the ratios? Dark, mulatto, brown, white, albino, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. So remember I have told you the ratio is 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. That means if you plot a graph of these ratios, plot a graph and plot it like that number of individuals in this a y axis and the different trait, a different color, dark, mulatto, brown, white, albino in this x axis, what you are going to get, you are going to get a curve. Now, says dark is 1, so say this is only 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Say this one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we are making a card like that. So dark is 1. So we have plotted here. Now 4. Mulatto is 4. So mulatto will be at the 4. So here it is mulatto. Now 6 is brown. So put 6 on the brown. So brown is here. 6 is here. Now here white is 4 again. So white again 4 so that is the place of white and 4 and albino is 1 so again 1 albino is here so you put the uh, put the point on the graph and let us 
join this with a color what we can find a bell shaped curve right a bell shaped graph now this is the typical characteristic of a polygenic inheritance now remember if you go back to my polygenic inheritance session you can find it may you may find it difficult but now you know that it it, it the, the all the, of these uh, genetic concepts learning becomes easier when you solve problems now you can see with this one problem i can explain polygenic inheritance in this beautiful manner you can see it's only you 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 have done it with me right so you can create this kind of graph by just knowing some important features that we need to forget about everything we need to think about the number of dominant genes that are present dominant alleles that are present now here three dominant four dominant dark three dominant mulatto two dominant brown one dominant white and finally albino so this is the way of handling the multi gene or polygenic problems okay and in the next video we'll be solving uh, the problem of uh, multiple alleles which are the blood group problems they are also interesting to solve now this is the polygenic inheritance and i hope it will help you to understand it thank you